G'day all, Mark from tryhardprospecting.com.au. Uh, today I thought I'd talk about a fantastic um, mapping system from the Victorian State Government uh, called GeoVic. Uh, it's a resource, uh, contains over 800 plus layers which you can add to a custom map which you build and print. Um, and take you in the field. Uh, basically, we're going to focus on the type of information that uh, nugget hunters, gold prospectors are interested in, uh, things like old timers diggings, uh, reef lines, faults, shallow workings, uh, gullies. So yeah, so we'll get started, um, put together a little presentation of what GeoVic's about and we'll actually go through creating our real life map and printing it out. All right, what is it? It's um, obviously it's free, um, web mapping application, uh, which allows you to uh, pull in different layers from a geospatial database to build your own maps. Um, as I said, there's over 800 layers available. We are only going to be primarily focusing on about five um, and I've put together a nice list and a um, cheat sheet which will make it really easy to build your maps. Um, as I said, lots and lots of information, um, you name it, land data use, aerial photography, uh, airborne geophysical survey boundaries, gravity, magnetic, radiometric images, boreholes, surface geochemistry, mines, mineral occurrences, renewable energy, thermal, wind, solar, even crazy things like um, Bluetooth detection devices, which the Victorian police are testing throughout Victoria for mobile phone usage. Um, believe it or not, you can actually plot them within the mapping system. Pretty crazy, pretty cool. I love it. All right, remember it's free um, and free things are good things. The main interface itself, um, it's web-based, Chrome being the preferred browser or uh, Microsoft's Chromium Edge. Uh, I will include in a link at the bottom of this video um, a download to a cheat sheet on how to select the layers, how to use the toolbar, just to help you um, get the most out of the um, system. What we're going to do very quickly is we're going to cover how to access GeoVic, um, how do I create an account, Creating an account's optional. Um, you can log in as an anonymous user, but you don't get the full benefits um, and all the layers to choose from. I recommend you create an account. As I said, it costs you nothing. It's free. Um, we'll look at the main interface and we'll create our very first map. Let's get into it. All right, easiest way to start off uh, from Google is just search for GeoVic, real simple. First entry you'll get back, um, GeoVic Earth Resources. Click on it and we'll get two options. Uh, we can log in as a registered user or we can log in as an anonymous user. If you want to register, if you want to register as a having your own account, I suggest you click on the registered version of GeoVic. From here, you have the option of register me. Fill out your details. Very simple. They'll get back to you with a user ID and password. I've already got an account, so let's get started. Once we log into the interface, We'll be presented with State of Victoria, a summary map view, a scale, top right corner, 1 to 5.9 million, a layer selection down the left hand side, and a bunch of toolbar options across the top. What I typically do is I'll select an area of interest that I want to create a map for. We'll just happen to select an Ali. It'll give you a bunch of search results back. Click the top one, either it'll either be town or parish, town of Denali. 
you'll notice now it's zoomed right into a scale of 1 to 2500. You can drop down arrow, change your scale, or if you've got a scroll wheel on your mouse, you can simply scroll in and out. Okay, let's get started. What we're interested in is we're actually interested in gold nuggets. Aren't we all interested in gold nuggets? As I stated on the left hand side, we've got a number of default layers, towns, roads, Victorian state boundary. If we actually tick the little box to turn the selection off, you'll notice that when I tick towns, Denali dis disappears on the screen. If I tick, untick the roads, we lose our roads. We've got a blank canvas. We'll leave them selected at the moment. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some layers and build our map up. Just above the layer list, we've got a little plus screen which says add layers. Don't be too concerned. I'll include this in a little cheat sheet which you can download. Once we click plus, we'll get a layer selection screen. The ones we're interested in are obviously minerals. We're interested in gold. The ones you want to select are mines and mineral occurrences and leads and working details. If we click apply, you'll notice now that we've got an extra layer appeared on our map. We've got people that know the Denial area, they'll know these are shallow leads that the old timers dug. If we scroll out, you'll notice that the map grows and it's showing us all our leads. We'll continue and add some more layers. I go into Geology, Interpretations, Statewide, Geology 1000. I add ge geology, I'm sorry, Geological Lines and Faults. The reason being, this is going to put our reefs, fault lines onto the map. Obviously a lot of people want to know where the reefs are where a cross fault's occurred across the reef because this is obviously going to increase your chances of finding gold. If we select it, we'll now notice that we've got a number of reef lines starting to appear on the map and some mine or reef names. So if we zoom in here, we'll see there's a reef line here, line of reef. We've got a fault here, etc. We'll zoom back out. We'll keep adding and building our map. Next, we want to add some type of map index, map grid. A um, little bit limited here. doesn't support GDA 2020 and a few of the others. I typically stick with GDA 94, longitude, latitude. And I also add a topographic map overlay. Topographic map giving us the most information we need about contours, um, terrain, etc. The latest one and among the most details, obviously the VicMap Topo 25K, June 2004. If we select it and do an apply and let our map build, you'll notice now we're starting to get a map which starting to have some meaningful information. From here, because we've doubled up on things like roads, there's two road layers. We have our independent road layer and we also have roads on the topo layer. I deselect the ones that aren't required. So if I unselect roads, you'll notice the map's not as uh, congested. Detail, not as, um, there's a bit more detail coming out now. We're not doubling up. I also deselect towns, not required because it's part of the topographic map. If I deselect towns, you'll notice Denali disappeared and we've got uh, Denali on the actual topographic map. If we now zoom in, we're starting in some really nice details showing us crown land, uh, waterways, gullies, uh, contour lines for the steepness of the terrain, reef names, all the good stuff which prospectors just love. Just to make the window know, not so congested, we're actually going to click on the little arrow on your Victorian index, which will hide that screen. And we can actually click on our little arrow on our layer selection. A little bit hard to see. 
and that's going to give us a beautiful um, one page map across the top typical items you're going to be selecting your little hand which allows you to pan the map around to do that you click on your hand you'll see it's indented means it's selected hold your left mouse button down on a place on the map and actually drag your map and that's going to uh, redraw it for you it's sometimes easier to zoom out as I said drop down on the right for your scale or you can use a scroll mouse on your wheel if you have a scroll mouse and we just drag around we'll go to a famous little area um, German lead which we all know from the Aussie gold hunters uh, which just happens to be here and if we actually zoom in we're going to see some of the reefs oh sorry sorry some of the um, gutters mainly being Charlie's Gully uh, which was obviously on the TV show and as you can see the detail is really good we've got Appleton's Reef here another unnamed reef here and if we zoom out we can see our height above sea level so 260 meters 265 meters 257 268 we know there's a hill and we can look at the way the gold flows roads tracks they're all on here as I said fantastic resource once we've got a map we're happy with and it's covering the area we're interested in we want to print it the way we print it is a little print icon here we click on it we have a choice we can either print um, a4 or a3 maps most people are going to have a4 maps or printers at home um, some may be lucky enough to have a3 if you go with an a3 map you're going to get more obviously more map detail on a piece of paper compared to a4 we're going to choose a4 a landscape two page if you go one page you're going to get your map and you're going to get your legend on the right hand side I tend to like the legend on a separate page because it gives you more map so we'll select our a4 landscape two page on our parameter screen we want to give our map a name it's just a title so we'll call it Denali test test map we want to select our resolution dots per inch I leave it very high um, gives you a much um, more detailed print for our map protection we want to change it to GDA 94 what this is going to do is this is obviously going to scale the map and print it at this map projection we're going to leave our map scale the same and we're going to draw GDA uh, reference ticks on the map this will allow you to look at the map look at a point on the map it'll give you a longitude latitude which you can then use in your GPS once we're happy with our settings we click generate and this will create a map takes about 30 seconds once the map's created we'll get a little pop-up which says ready for download if we click open our map will open up as a PDF in a second tap here we have our map we'll notice across the top we have our name Denali test map and we also have our little geo reference ticks and you'll notice if we zoom in we'll have our geo reference 36 degrees 48 minutes south by 143 degrees 43 minutes 48 seconds east is that point there you can go another step and actually electronically calibrate these maps and load them into your GPS but that's obviously beyond the scope of this video this is more about what is Geovic how do I create my first map and how do I use it in the field if we scroll to the second page as I mentioned we'll have our legend now typically this would be placed on the right hand side of the first page and you lose quite a bit of your map so I suggest you put it on your second uh, page 
because it gives you more map real estate. As I mentioned earlier, we had different uh, items on the map. Veins, uh, not necessarily gold veins, but quartz hosted veins, um, which have a higher chance of uh, carrying gold. Uh, gold. If we have a look on our map and we zoom in, we'll see a number of veins which appear on the map. Now, obviously, if they've got a name against them, say William Reef and uh, Shallow Lee Diggings, Old Diggings, there's a good chance it was gold carrying at some stage. It may have been depleted, but it was carrying gold. Um, it's not to mean that some of the other reefs on there aren't carrying gold. They just weren't hit by the old timers and there'll be reefs on the map which aren't documented. Most reefs or typically run uh, north, northwest, south, southeast, 315, 320 degrees. Um, if you have a reef tracking on a map, there's a good chance it's continuing on in that same projection. Uh, it may be either eroded away or may be under still ground cover, depending on whether it's dipping or what direction it's heading. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this, uh, how to create your very first map. If you read the comments down below, I'll have a link to a download which will allow you to download my GeoVic cheat sheet on how to create maps, how to select your layers, how to use the toolbar. Hope you enjoy it. Happy hunting and hope to hear from you soon. Cheers, guys.